Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion again. It's about half past eight in the morning on the 4th of Frostfall. It's a day after uh, the last episode in-game. Although, outside of the game, it's been a while. It took a pretty lengthy break from the series because I felt like I needed it, frankly. Um, the enthusiasm was starting to wane a bit and I decided, you know what, we're just going to stop right there for Hello a while. There. Do you think Otherwise, we end up with a situation they like towards the end of the Skyrim LP what where I'm playing now? the game Whatever. because Comes it gets lots of views see. even though I'm hating it. Um, which makes for miserable videos and a miserable Sorcerer Dave. So I decided, oh, you know what, let's just nip that in the bud usual, don't you think? and take a break from no, Levine no. until I feel like coming back to it. And I feel like coming back to it now. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Vili is over there. She's changed back into her armor. I didn't actually tell her to do that, but she has anyway. Bye. Oh, that was weird. Okay, then. Soon as the conversation... Oh, anyway, whatever. You all saw it. <laughs> right. To give you a little bit of a recap, because it's been a while. Um, we're in the town of Skingrad. We're here visiting the Fighters Guild. We're actually kind of, sort of, in a very circuitous sort of a way, making our way to Anvil, actually. But um, uh, we stopped in Skingrad to visit the Fighters Guild. Um, we've got a contract at the moment from Amal's at the Fighters Guild to uh, go and speak to Agnet the Smith, Agnet the Pickled, uh, because apparently she's had something stolen by bandits and presumably she wants us to get it back. So, yeah, we've got to go do that today. Um, hope it doesn't turn out to be as horrifying as the whole thing with the witch in Chadenhall. That was um, an experience, for sure. Never found out what happened to that witch in the end. We might encounter her again another time. Who knows? However, that's something we're going to deal with. Uh, additionally, we've got the Baron Von Zarov files, the case of the horribly overlapping text. Um... And the gist of this is that we've heard a rumour that the body of the recently deceased wife of Lord Varian has disappeared from the chapel in the Croft the night before the funeral. Um, we should speak with the, to the priest in the chapel if we want to investigate that at all. Jazir has a suspicion that maybe that Glarthier guy has something to do with it. He wanted Jazir to meet him behind the chapel at midnight. Uh, perhaps... Uh, Jazir has a hunch that maybe maybe that has something to do with it and maybe the guard captain would be very grateful if Jazir were to apprehend this blackguard and uh, find the missing body or what is left of it so that's something else we're going to be looking at um, the only other thing that's relevant really that I need to make a point of remembering is we did rescue Elahai from the goblins up near Shadenhall, and we haven't actually talked to Thelonious about it because when we were passing through Way last time, he wasn't at his store, and I didn't know where he was, so we just carried on on our journey because we had places to be. So next time we're in Way, I need to speak to Thelonious again about Elahai. When we see him again, I'm sure that won't be too hard to remember because he is a merchant that I tend to sell a lot of stuff to, so... I'm going to end up talking to him eventually anyway. And also, in a way, we need to um, still retrieve Maxentius Alosius' ledger. And it's starting to look like the only way to do that is going to be to try and sneak into the mansion and steal it. Um, because we've not, I've not found any other way of doing it so far. We've talked to a bunch of people, including one of the guards, who's apparently a little dissatisfied with working there. And we made no progress whatsoever, so, um, yeah, that might be a thing that we need to do. Sort of, I'd like to be able to get my hands on some invisibility potions and, you know, extra things like that before I make that attempt, because I, I feel like it might end in, uh, you know, disaster otherwise, frankly. I mean, Jazeera can sneak, but not that well, so... Yeah, anyway, right. Let's go see Agnet. Here we are. What can I do for you? 
Well, I'm here about this contract, you see. Uh, Jazir has heard something has gone missing. Oh, uh, yeah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. I hired them to retrieve some stolen merchandise. I had a very important and expensive curious stolen by bandits while it was being transported to the client for delivery. He does not know that it was stolen. The amount I would have to refund him is more than the cost of hiring someone to get the curious back. The bandits are located at Fat Rat Camp, which is outside the Skin Grad Guard's jurisdiction. I need you to go there and bring the curious back to me. Please, hurry. I can only stall the client for so long. I see. Well, the local wine is great. It isn't cheap. But I don't bother with beer or ale anymore. And for a Nord, that's saying something. Mm-hmm. She clearly drinks a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I don't think we need anything repairing, do we? No. All right. Be seeing you. Well, we'll get to that. I'm going to go to the chapel and talk to the priest first, though. Because, um... I mean, it's in town. Might as well before we go running off. Because Fat Rat Camp, if, if if memory serves, is like way off down here somewhere. So, yeah, we're gonna have to suit up for that. Let's go to the chapel first, though, eh? It is a very impressive chapel as chapels go, isn't it? I mean, if if this is what the Imperials call a chapel, Jazeel would like to see what a full-blown temple is supposed to look like. I think you can go up to the top of this. Can't you? Yeah, you can. I can't remember if we already did this in a previous episode or not. But you can totally go up. Where's... where's I don't want to even think about where Velia's gone. Um, yeah, nice view from up here, eh? All those rooftops. I'm sure you could probably jump out of here and go running around on the church rooftop. That's probably... Ugh. Yeah, you are very sneaky when you want to be, you know. You're very, very like a cat, actually. Alright. Morning. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, at least she she seems she yeah, you're feeling okay. Do you have a concussion? You're smiling a lot. You really shouldn't be smiling after doing something like that. Oh, God. Let's just go inside before she injures herself again. God, I'm glad I made you essential. Otherwise I'd have to have reloaded the game there. You should hear some of the songs my father sing after a snaps or two. How goes it? They are naughty. That's too bad. You felt the temple was the best place to share that information, huh? And no air. That's never Hello. Happened. What do you want? Uh, Jazir has heard that the body has disappeared from the chapel. Sorry, child, but I cannot discuss such a grave matter with just anybody. Well, I was not expecting that to be voice acted. I was about to do my best priest voice. But apparently it's not necessary at all. I'm listening. Let's have a little chat with him. Well, let's not, actually. Let's just bribe the guy, I guess. I'll take that, and thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, oh, the interesting thing is, it is greyed out. Which I think means that improving the disposition won't actually change the result, if I recall. Isn't that right? I think it stays in in gold. If if uh, if you don't have enough, I'm gonna yeah, just quick save for a second here. I've got a scroll of charm, so. I have a feeling that missed. Go ahead. Somehow. All right. All right. Just. Bribe okay. him to the gills. Oh, no, no, okay, it does. It actually must be a mod thing then. Hold on. It's annoying that I can't actually, like, speechcraft him up a bit more. That's just not available, apparently. It's very annoying. Um, I'm going to try that again. Is it on target? Yeah, it might have just been a... There we go. Well met. I don't know why I got a message about better cities any being configured up there. I hope that's not a problem. Um, Jazir has had that body disappeared? Ah, you've been speaking with the gossips. Well, it is true, my child. 
Please tell us more. I don't suppose it will harm anyone now, will it? A recently wed woman, Lady Lucian Varian, died about two weeks ago. We had her body in the Undercroft Chapel, ready for burial, but the body mysteriously disappeared the night before the funeral. Did anybody see what happened? Well, that's another matter. We have a poor lad we pay to clean the chapel. Honestly, we would do it ourselves, but he insisted on providing a service for the chapel, instead of just accepting our charity. So uh, we let him work here on the evenings. And? The night of the body's disappearance, he was cleaning the chapel. After dinner, I saw that the Undercroft Chapel was open, which is unusual. So I went to check in and saw him wandering around. I see. The poor lad was probably drunk like always. He claimed he had no memory of how he got there, and that he didn't see anything. Still, he was the only one, except for the other members of the priesthood here, who had access to the Undercroft Chapel. And where would one find this cleaner? Uh, he spends most of his day at the Page of Cups. His name is uh, Kelgan. I'm afraid he won't be of much help, though. Why not? People are mean sometimes, you know. They are teasing him all the time because of this misadventure. The lad is drinking even more now than before. Uh, thank you, Father. Child? Yes? May I ask why you are so interested in this matter? I did. Jazir has a feeling that this is not as simple as it seems. May the Nine guide your path always, my child. Uh, may their light shine upon you as well. Uh, goodbye. I've always liked the place. Mog does a good job, although I sometimes... Jazir is very suspicious of this priest. Something does not seem right about him. Farewell. It's not the fact that he's glowing green. That was Jazir's fault. All right. I want to go to the Page of Cups and chat with the uh, Kelgan. It would appear. Ugh. There we go. We have two quest markers for this one. That's a little interesting and odd, but whatever. What is it, sir? Nothing. Get out of the way. Kelgan, 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 Kelgan. Good morning. Timon. Oh, what? Kelgan! Hello! A little early for drinking, isn't what it? What can I do for you? What? I. Jazir has heard that the body disappeared. Piss off. Why does everybody taunt me so? Jazir is not here to taunt you, Go my ahead. friend. Okay, let's have a go at this. I think he doesn't like coerce and he really hates admire, so... Uh, we want to do... Yeah, we want to do... We want to do boast, we want to do joke. Oh, please. That's... Don't try... I wish I could say that. You're wasting so... your breath. Not... Like what that. a great story. Not now. Well done. That's... Where'd you get that? That's good. Uh, it's not much, but it might have to do. You're good. Or not. All right. Come on, my friend. Let me buy you a round of drinks. Well, isn't that sweet of you? How nice. It's just what I wanted. Oh, come on, really? Tell me more. Every little bit helps. Really? Tell me more. Every... For me? Thanks. Goodness me. Yes. It's true. But... I don't believe you are here just to taunt me. Meet me at the chapel uh, tomorrow around seven in the evening, friend. And uh, I will explain what happened. 
Okay. I could ask him now, but he'll be like, No, no, I said meet and meet at the chapel at seven. Alright. Be seeing you. Right. Okay, then. Did you say tomorrow at seven, was that? Or is it tonight at seven? Only when he's back at work in the chapel one evening. Alright, well, let's... Let's try again this evening. But in the meantime... I think it's time. Was that really necessary? Hi. Guess what? I made a potion for you. I hope you like it. If it's going to make me start running around on tables, I think it might be a bit dangerous to drink, frankly. But all right. Um, I need you to. Yeah, we need you. We need you to put your armor on. We're going on. We're going for a walk. Yes. I guess we aren't exactly going for a nice stroll then. No, we're not. Right, let's suit up, because we have to go to a bandit camp to look for this curious. I hope it's as simple as it sounds, but you never know, do you? All right, let's hit the road. Fat rap camp. Ra fat rap ramp? Fat ramp camp, I think it is? Or is it fat rat camp? I don't quite remember. It's a camp. It involved fat rats. Yes, there we go. It's over here. Yeah. Really? This is outside of the guard's jurisdiction? My goodness me. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Here we are. Surely so Brothers Vineyards and then the Tamika Vineyards are over in the over here on the other side, right? But as we pass through here, um, it's worth mentioning. Um, when I was testing this mod setup, I discovered that one of the mods I had to add was the one that got rid of the Oscuras Overhaul Amazons. Um... And uh, the reason for that was basically there's a cave up there, which I don't know, if I go up there, I don't know if it's going to be repopulated with something else or if it's just going to be empty. I think it might just be empty. Cursed mine over here. Um, in Oscura's Overhaul normally. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I'm about to die to a random mountain lion. But I, I, I didn't see that coming, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Welcome back to Oblivion, everybody. Oh my word. Oh my word. Alright, anyway, so, um. Well, this is gonna seem funny now, based on what I was about to say. Um. But, uh, in Oscura's Overhaul, this, this mine up here is populated by Amazons. You know, like warrior women in skimpy outfits that were, you know, just weird and felt a little out of place in Oblivion anyway. I mean, there was some, there was some flaky lore to justify them being there, about them being really militant, sanguine worshippers. <laughs> Vilya, you're being like amazingly unhelpful right now. I don't mind saying. Um, and I had to I had to get rid of the mod. I mean, and I had to, didn't get rid of the mod. I installed a patch that got rid of said Amazons. And it, the reason actually was not that they f felt goofy or out of place. It was because actually they went on a killing rampage across the vineyards. Um, as soon as I came walking down this road, they spotted me, came after me, and they're all very high level and quite lethal, and I ran back this way, and then they just uh, unleashed themselves upon the vineyards and, and murdered everybody there, including all the guards. And I was just like, you know what, this is ridiculous, I can't, I can't we can't have them in the LP, otherwise Gingrad will be full of dead bodies. So uh, that's actually why I got rid of them. There's a very nasty mountain line up there that's replaced them, though, as it turns out. And I'm not interested in dealing with it, frankly, so we're going to carry on this way. Well, is that a circling vulture by any chance? There might be something over here. Yeah, it looks like a circling vulture to me. I do love that feature. What's it? What's all this, then? Oh, hello, bandits. Um... He seems a little confused. Oh my god, there's a friggin' Daedra. Okay, the Daedra just... just... properly killed him there. I hate these little buggers, they're very annoying. There we go. Clan Fear Runt. What on earth? Where did, where did the bandit end up? Don't 
Don't you just love the long grass? There he is. Venison, not bad. I think we repaired all your gear, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Did it at the fighter's guild. Alright, there's more of them up ahead, looks like. Okay, I need to try and remember where all my hotkeys are. Alright. Let's try and get the drop on these guys. Fat ramp camp, this is it. But we want fat rat camp, apparently. Are they one in the same? I don't know. There's dead stuff here, though. They don't? Interesting. They don't look that hostile. Alright, maybe they can be bargained with. Oh, what are you doing now, Vilia? Okay. She's a bit on edge, apparently. Come on. Pay up, or else... Um, are you kidding? No! Take it from me if you can, you scoundrel! Easily done. You move like a cow. I kill you! Oh boy. We need some healing and quite a bit of it. There we go, potent potion. I have. There we go. Interesting, they're kind of operating in a pair, these two. You don't see that very often. And again, you don't see Argonians with Mohicans very often either. Look at that haircut. I mean, what is that? Did he just glue that to his head? Argonians don't have hair. What's this about? Very weird. Well, I'll take the grapes, I guess. I guess he's been foraging over there, hasn't he? He's been stealing from the vineyard. All right, then. What happened here, then? It's Daedra? A couple of dead bandit thieves. Some arrows. I'll give these to Vilia later, I think. This guy with an elsewhere... Ca oh, are these elsewhere guys? Like elsewhere bandit people? Some Rinrija Kreen mafiosos, perhaps. This one certainly wasn't the elsewhere agent, yeah. And then this is the Curus. I got the Curus. I think Agnet, Agnet will be pleased when I bring it back. Uh, it looks like she has... It has hardly any wear. I should head back. Okay. I really struggled with that sentence there for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um... That bore me. It is. I thought I saw that in the tooltip. Not sure what the deal with the random <clears throat> Daedra is. Also, who's that guy? If we come down here all aggressive like, you might think we're, we're bandits, but <laughs> we're not. Honest. Look, I have a shield. I'm a knight of the White Stallion. Well, the Jazeera is not very happy right now. Look at that face. Who are you? Who's that for that matter? Varus Ignatius. Good day. Brave and decent level 19 monk, huh? Not even gonna ask Goodbye. to join the party. He'll just say no. Tatan Willowthorn. What can I do for you? A bold and decent level 14 pilgrim. Be seeing you. Typical adventurers arriving just after the nick of time. <sighs> So maybe they can help with that. Uh, I'm not. We're not. We're not going to deal with the mountain lion. We're not. We're not. It's not happening. We don't need to pick a fight with the mountain lion. It's minding its own business up there at the abandoned mine. We don't need to fight it. Why bother? It's pointless and it's silly. Let's look at this. There's a curious. Oh, six armor. It's, 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 it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. It's double. What the one chain Melchurus gives us. You, you don't think she'd mind if I just tried it on for a moment, do you? Oh. Oh, of course. Yes, I have. I need mass level and light armor to even equip it because it's glass. Right. I forgot about that small wrinkle. Right, fair enough, then. That removes the temptation entirely, doesn't it? 
Zir knows nothing about exactly fighting and moving in glass armor. He's never even seen a suit of the stuff until today. He'd probably just break it. Alright. Let's uh, let's get this back to Agnet, shall we? Ah, oh, there you are. Yes? Uh, here is your curus. You have it? You really do? Please, give it here. Let me examine it for any damage. Oh, thank the gods. It's undamaged. You saved my skin. The drinks are on me tonight. You should go back to our miles for payment. I already gave him the gold. I can fix whatever you break. There you go. You can fix those. Goodbye. And, uh... What's on your mind, friend? Uh, what's on my mind is I have some arrows for you. Sure. How many arrows you got? You got plenty of arrows, to be fair, but you might as well have some more. There you go. Yes. End time. Right. We really ought to get you better armor. We need to get you some better, like, casual clothes as well, instead of that tatty old robe. We need to find you something. Next time we're in the Imperial City, we'll go to the fancy tailors and we'll find you something cool to wear. You know, not something ridiculous, um, like a great big ball hello. gown, you know. Something that involves a pair of trousers, at least, I think. You never know what trouble we might get into at short notice. You don't want to be flouncing around the sewers or something in a ball gown, because, you know, we could go chase some vampire down there or something. I don't know why that vampire suddenly came to mind there, but whatever. You know what I mean. I need to find you something with a pair of trousers, but, like, a nice, a nice outfit. Not your tatty robes. Something actually good. Um, right. Yes, Fighters Guild over here. Mr. Armals, where is my payment? There's, a, there's the random skull on the uh, on the round table there. Go ahead. I'm listening. There's Armals. Where is he? Demand to know where our mouths is. Feel down in the basement or something. Because I bet the basement's like a smithy and training area or something. I guess this is his office. Doesn't appear to be in though, does he? There's nobody here actually at all, except for the porter. I guess they're all out. On a contract or something? Like, where is everybody? Let's see. I think there was an entrance to a basement around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Aha! Yeah, this is where you all are. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. My goblin obsessed friend. Um, there you are. Do you see that there's not wish to interrupt, but uh Yes. I heard you completed your contract and that Agnet is buying everyone wine tonight at the tavern. You have done a good job. Here's your payment. Brilliant. Uh, do you have anything else while Jazir is here in town? Go see Gunder at Kalovian Traders here in Skingrad. Looks like he needs our help to find something that was stolen from him. You know, for a change. In Skingrad, you can never be too careful about where you hide your valuables. Oh. Go speak with Gunder something something. Didn't mean to skip that. Whoops. Help Gunder at Clover Treads. I, I should head over there and find out what this is Good about. Alright then, I'll leave you to your sparring. In very big air quotes. Welcome to Colovian Traders, Skingrad's finest selection of general merchandise. I'm Gunder. Just let me know what you want. Gunder apparently doesn't have a very good memory because we were in here just the other day. Uh, did you hear, hear about this uh, missing item? Yes, I do have a job for the Fighters Guild. Recently had a family heirloom stolen by thieves. By what I was able to find out, the thieves took the heirloom bowl to cursed mine. I oh no, I, I still have no idea where where the mine is. If that's still if, or if it's still there, please bring back my heirloom. Well, as it turns out, Cursed Mine is the one guarded by that nasty mountain lion. <sighs> Hurrah. Hi there. But on the bright side... Uh, 
Yeah. Curse Barney marked the mine on my map. That's interesting, because he said he didn't know where it was. Could have sworn it's what that's what he said. Whatever. It is, though. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, so we're going to have to go fight that lion. <laughs> Great. You wanted to talk to me? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd quite like you to do a bit of melee combat instead of just hanging back with your bow all the time, if possible. Um, fighting strategy. Practice our fighting skills. Ooh, interesting. Melee weapons are getting sure. close. I'm not afraid of staring the enemies right into the eyes. Good. Uh... Goodbye. Just, here's an, an idea. She'll probably just say no. But what if we go down here? Can we do some sparring of our own? Show these amateurs how it's done? I think we should buy some wine while we are here. You've, you've mentioned that a few times. I'm getting the hint. I'm picking up what you're putting down there, Valia. Um, let's practice our fighting skills. Look, I'm really not in the mood for this. Let's do it later. All right. <laughs> End time. The world it's not what it sounded time. like, okay? <clears throat> right. Um. Okay, we're gonna go deal with her. Uh, let me. Let me go and see if I can find, probably at the Mage's Guild next door, I'm going to see if I can find some potion ingredients, because I think I want to make some more of those awesome shield potions. I have a feeling I I'm going to need them. There's not a lot of water around here, you may have noticed. But, uh, let's see what they can do. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen these before. Essence of armor, essence of fatigue, essence of fire. They're very, very expensive. But that's quite interesting. Look at it. Hmm. Never seen them before. They must be from the mod. Uh, Tell your friends about me. Right, I've got some shield bits. Um, I'm just going to quickly mix those up. Add ingredient. Oh, I've got a health potion bit actually as well. Hold on. Let's just do that. Do 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 what am I looking for here? Venison probably. Uh there we go. Yeah. Select venison set duration. Nine points of fifteen seconds. Nine for sixteen. There you go. Great. I I've got these shield bits, I'm gonna make some shield potions here. But I did notice while well, I did well, I noticed, not so much notice, but remember that uh, one of the reasons we're in Skingrad actually is to talk to Sundarian as well about these Nernroot thingies we've been finding. So um, that's something we absolutely need to do as well. Uh, there we go, Bog Beacon Cap. Shield 96% for 16 seconds. Honestly, I might need 96% for 17, 16 seconds actually. 101% for... F no, 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 don't do that. There we go. Uh, I think that that's virtually all I managed to get, actually. No, actually, that's not true. I found a couple of mushrooms that also had shield. There we go. Select. And a metic rustular cap. There we go. Which also does restore agility, apparently. Um, <clears throat> I think if I had that... How was that? That extra... There's that extra... Um, the refiner or whatever I think it's called that I could have used if I had one right now to get rid of that restore agility effect if I wanted to, I think. Um, but I don't have it right now, so I'm just, just going to create that. Exit. Do you have a refiner, by yes. any chance? I have potions and everything yes, you, you need do. to make your own. What a novice refiner, yeah. I let that... Alright, so next time Bye. I make a potion like that, I can use the refiner to get rid of that spurious extra effect that we don't need. Anyway, let's go. Let's go find Sindarian, right? Although, actually, uh, me? Yeah. I don't know. Never seen that sort of route before. Head over to the West Wheeled Inn and talk to Sindarian. He could identify it for you, I'm sure. There you go. Goodbye. Right. Because I, I wasn't sure if you were actually told exactly where Sindarian lives. You see. 
was hoping she might mention. He, uh, she did. What is it now? He's at the inn here, apparently. Hello. Go ahead, please. Cinderian. You. Too. I know where he is. He's he's in Cinderian's cellar. I was just hoping somebody in game might actually mention it, so it felt a bit more organic, you know. But all right, let's just go down here. Ooh. Essence of Magicka, Essence of Reversal, Essence of... Cool. Anyway, uh, hello. So, you've brought something for me to examine? Yes, Jazir has this thing here. Yes, this is a genuine Nern Root sample. Very nice quality, in fact. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Since you already know what they look like, do you feel up to a bit of a collecting expedition? Yeah, sure, but I just noticed your skin is, like, really weird. Like, what's that about? That's very strange. Anyway, um... I mean, he's a, he's incredibly yellow even by the usual high elf standards, but also, like, around his neckline, it just changes colour complete... Why? Well, I, I don't... I... whatever. Sure, what did you have in mind? Excellent! But before you go, you're going to need to learn a bit more about Nernroot. Otherwise, you may walk in circles and never find any. Well, uh, Jazeera seems to be finding so much of the damn things he stopped picking them up, but, uh, okay. A few years ago, an adventurer not unlike yourself sold me a musty old tome containing alchemical formulas. Most of them were worthless. But one of the moldy pages contained a recipe for a potion known as an elixir of exploration. A sort of ultimate dungeon delver's brew. The formula looked sound, except it required an extremely rare ingredient. Yes, you guessed it. The Nern Root. I put the book aside, because frankly I had so many other delicate experiments going on that I just didn't have the time to go plant hunting. Now that you're here, that changes things. The Elixir of Exploration is a multi-purpose potion that was obviously created with the Dungeon Explorer in mind. The formula describes many magnitudes of the brew. If you're interested, I wrote a short missive about it for the Imperial Alchemy Symposium. You bring me ten samples of Nernroot, and I'll make the Elixir available to you at a huge discount, as well as give you one for free. The best place for you to start would be Shade Leaf Copse, which is a part of the Great Forest northeast of here. Good luck, and hurry back with more of the Nern Root. There we go, everybody. The fetch quest of fetch quests. I have now found a total of ten Nern Root. I should... Oh. <laughs> okay, I can do this immediately, apparently. <laughs> I didn't realize that would happen, to tell you the truth, but okay. <laughs> Uh, all right then. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the. the I've, I've, for so many playthroughs, I've avoided doing this quest because it just always used to drive me batty back in the day. But uh, you know, why? What the hell, right? Why not do it this time? Just for giggles. You know, at least it's not as bad as trying to find the feathers in Assassin's Creed Two. You remember that? God. How goes the search? Uh, just dear has already found quite a bit more of these Nernroot thingies than you think he might have. If you need to know more about the Nernroot. Read the missive. Uh, I will, but... Uh... Fantastic! You actually found ten of the Nern Root. I'll begin making the Elixir of Exploration right away. According to my research from the Tome, I'll need at least twenty more Nern Root to make the next magnitude of Elixir. In any case, if you come back in about twenty-four hours, I should have the weaker Elixir ready for you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Uh, do I already have enough for that as well? Need 20 more samples. How many do I have? Nern root. Nern root. I, I do actually have 22 Nern root right now. Just your way of saying you want a strawberry. I got some strawberries. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? I'll wait for him to mix up that, I suppose. All right. Well, well, well d d tell Jazir more about yourself, will ya? All right. I told you before that I ended up in Skingrad, and that the lady I worked for died. 
I managed to get a new work as an assistant to Falano at All Things Alchemical in Skingrad. Alas, this didn't turn out well. Falano disliked me from start, and then she accused me of uh, some ugly things. I was really unhappy. It was a relief when she fired me. I started to work in the wine production. It was quite fun, especially smashing the grapes with my bare feet. But me and some other workers also enjoyed trying out the new wines. Hmm. Let's just say that our employer didn't particularly like that. The surroundings of skin grass are quite lovely, don't you think so? I could spend hours just wandering around collecting ingredients. You do know that the flax seeds are quite useful, don't you? One can make really good potions of feather from them. With potions of feather one can easily carry quite a lot of extra weight. Oh, I got potion here by the way. It's for you. Try it. Strong potion of feather and... Ugh, much appreciated. And yes, Jazeera is quite familiar with with flax seeds. Let's just say it's... Uh, a bit of a... Well, you know, it's a bit of a channel tradition. <laughs> um... You went off on quite a tangent there, didn't you, Vilya? Really? Anyway, I was gonna do something, and now I've totally forgotten what it was, because I've been distracted by your hair-brained, meandering, um, twaddle. Whatever, whatever it was, I, I, I can't remember why I was talking to you begin, to begin with, at this point. I've totally forgotten. Never mind. Anytime. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, alright? Leave me to my work if you... Oh, all right then, fine. I'll come back with the next 20 known route later. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Goodness me. All right. Health bells. Uh, we have a mountain lion to go and kill and a, and a mine to search, so uh, let's go do that, shall we? All right, here we go. Now, I'm quite convinced the only way we're going to be able to slay this beast is by using this amazing shield potion I've concocted, so... Alright, here we go. As soon as I see the damn thing, I'm going to quaff the potion and have at it. There he is. There's the brute. Well, there she is, really. Do the mountain lions have manes if they're, if they're male? I don't think they do, actually. Um, right. Shield. Shield, shield, shield. Shield. There it is. 96% for 16 seconds on self. 85 armor we've got now. It's the equivalent of wearing like a huge suit of Daedric or something. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, it's about to run out. Oh boy. You think you can beat me? Can you finish him off, Vilia, please? That was close. Better use a bandage. Uh, bandage, bandage. There we go. Hunter mountain lion. Bit bigger than the average mountain lion, it feels like to me. I'm taking his pelt because I just feel like we've earned it, frankly. I'll put the meat in a potion. You probably don't want to eat carnivore meat. It's not very. It's not very good for you. Yeah, quite a brute that one. That's for sure. It's already killed a wolf up here, it looks like. Right. Sneakily does it, Philia. Don't know what else might be lurking in here. Hopefully nothing. As I said, it's supposed to be full of Amazons, but because I've used that submod, they're not here anymore. Hence there's a mountain lion outside instead. But, as I said, I don't know if the place is empty or if it's going to be repopulated with other stuff. Do you know, the funny thing is, I, sw I switched to the hotkey there for Night Eye without even thinking about which hotkey it was. If you asked me right now which hotkey is the one for Night Eye, I actually couldn't tell you. That was purely muscle memory. <laughs> So 
Some gold coins. It's not what we're looking for. It was a bowl, right? Dude's got a weird ancestral bowl. Nords are very strange people, will ya? No, no, no offense. <laughs> Hmm, not bad. Just wondering if I want to swap out my leather gauntlets for fur ones, actually, but no, I think I'm okay with the leather ones. Okay, it does seem to be fairly deserted, which is good. health tome. Hmm. I'm gonna get out my, my, my torch. Where's the, uh, the Will of the Wisp torch? There it is. Why don't bandits ever have enough food? We go into the cave and all they have is a loaf of bread and one measly carrot. No wonder they can't fight. <laughs> you make a good point. Uh, uh, speaking of which, we are slightly hungry and slightly thirsty, so let's have a nibble, shall we? Have a little drink of water. I'm not going to touch the booze right now. We need to be we need to be sober at the moment. Uh, have an apple and a slice of cheese. Apple and cheese. That's a classic combo, right? Cursed mind breakdown chambers. Ooh. Hello. Well, well, well. Ooh, see they missed that. Look at that floor diamond, still worth 75. Okay. This is, uh, interesting, isn't it? Something about this place doesn't. I'm having a, I'm having a Gandalf moment here, folks. I'll I'll level with you. Those of you watching at home, I'm having a bit of a Gandalf here mo moment here. I'm I'm sitting here and I'm going. I have no memory of this place. This looks very unusual. Hello, Mr. Tripwire. Can we negotiate around you, please? I don't want to set it off because I might be able to use it to my advantage. Logs. Be nice if you used a torch, actually. I'm tired of this place. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, it's not very pleasant, but we do need to keep pushing on, I'm afraid. Looking for this damn bowl. Um... Could you, uh, use a torch? Sure, I can do that. Cheers. Talk later. Light the place up a bit. Or not. You know, it's up to you. I don't find goblins very scary compared to some of the creatures I have seen in Solstheim. Oh, you're from Solstheim, huh? That explains the accent. I can't remember if she's told us that before or not, actually. Don't accidentally wander over the... Finally, there you go. You got it lit in the end, did you? The old flint and steel giving you some trouble there, was it? I think I see another tripwire up there. This one I'm probably going to have to set off. Yep. There it is. God, I'm loving this music right now. It's really setting the scene. This is from Outcast, in case you're curious. The game. Right, we got a, a trapdoor to cursed mine lower galleries. We got a chest. We got some really weird 
background fog as well. I've noticed that some of the objects in here are being highlighted in black like that. Not sure what's going on with that weird graphical bug thing. Uh, whoop! Hello. Well, someone didn't want us getting in here. This is boring. It is a little. it would be not very boring at all if I'd installed the Amazon mod. However, if I'd installed the Amazon mod, we wouldn't even be able to do this quest because they were that powerful. I, I, I even I think I think even if I crank the difficulty all the way down to zero on the bar in the options menu, I this is weird, isn't it? Um, I still don't think I'd be able to kill them. Alright, well, I'm just going to try and ignore the weird graphical bug. As annoying as it is. Very hard, huh? Ah! I know you guys at home on YouTube can't see anything right ah! now, but... Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere with this, are we? Ah! I'm succeeding in doing nothing other than damaging my axe. Alright. That's beyond my bed. I can't get it open. Cannot get it open. Um, I hope whatever we need isn't in there. That thing is locked up tight. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a bit more luck with this one. Yeah! If you could... Uh, Thank you. Yeah. 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 No. It's not working either. Although I think I might have a scroll that could get this open. There it is. There it is. Okay. Let's give this a go. Your average, huh? There we go. What do we got? Some amulets. A bit of gold. Some repair hammers, hilariously enough. Uh, I guess I'll take advantage of that right now. <laughs> uh, there we go. Wow, the chainmail curious really took a battering at the hands of that lion, didn't it? Why don't bandits ever have enough? Right, um, can I pick this one open? I can certainly give it a go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. Oh. All right, forget it. There we go. No wonder they caught. Okay, a couple of good healing potions was absolutely worth the bother. Water breathing, huh? You know what? I'll have that. Light glow dust for light. You know what? I'll have that as well. A really good, like long-lasting light potion would actually be pretty darn sick be very useful. Alright, I think we've pretty thoroughly searched this bit, haven't we? Hmm. You gonna be able to get through that? Yeah, no problem. I should have more faith in your pathfinding abilities, but you're, you're much smarter than the average Oblivion NPC. In that regard, at least. Okay, so this is where we want to go, so... Hello, there's a dog down here. Hello, Pooch. You, uh, you really gonna fight us? You must be starving. Alright, well... Pff. You're not a dog person, really? By any chance? Let me, let me harvest at least one of these. Come on. 
There we go. I want to use them to make poisons with. Probably should have used a poison on the mountain lion, come to think of it, but never mind. Wow, we can't forage to save our bloody lives, can we? Blimey, it's dark down here. You know what? I don't think it should be murder to accidentally kill another aventurer in a cave. After all, we all know the risks. Well, I think, Willie, by definition, it would be manslaughter, wouldn't it? Not murder. I'm not sure if that's what you meant, though. Bit of a funny thing to say to a fellow adventurer in the middle of a dark cave, by the way. Might give someone the wrong impression. Oh, there's quite a few chests down here. Horse armor plans, eh? Oh, all of the wisp stalks. There's never an easy way to pick those up, is there? You just kind of have to mash the E key and mouse over the things and hope that you uh, you grab them all. little things like that isn't it it's it's a, i mean it's noticeable if you if you go and play like skyrim for example after this game and and you you, can, you never have that issue do you when you're picking up random alchemy items that's never a problem because they change the way that the activation sort of box around it works sometimes it's the small improvements that are the best ones Come on. Come on. There we go. Anti venom. I mean, it's worth a bit of money, but a bit rubbish, though, really. Damage health, though. More damage health. A gold amulet. Not bad. Do you know of any cure for vampirism? Is there something you are not telling me? Is there something I should know about, Villier? Oh, another doge. Hello, doggy. Your owners have disappeared, it seems, and, uh... Oh, God, there's a few of them. All right. Aha! How about you? I went, decided to wait for the dog to strike the first blow there. It just seemed more sporting. Oh, hello. Well, you know, we can't just say no to these, can we? A blue cape. I will take that. Do you want a blue cape, Vilia? How may I help you? I think I've tried giving you capes before, but I'd, you wouldn't use them. But I feel like blue would probably suit you quite nicely. Yes. Goodbye. No, she's got. <laughs> she's very much in the in the in the anti cape camp when it comes to that particular debate. It seems. Oh hello, dead captive. What happened to these guys? They just starved to death because the guy the, the the slavers didn't come back. Oh boy, there's lots of dead folks down here. What happened here then? Did the operation just go bad and the bandits bugged out? Killed all the captors before they left? So 
So there were no witnesses. I mean, there's a bowl on a little table next to some candles, but I have a feeling it's probably not the bowl we're after. Rock, paper, scissors. We're not playing rock, paper, scissors right now, though. I get that you're bored, but... Come on. Keep your wits about you. Another blue cape. See, it's a shame you won't wear a cape, because then we would have a pair. We could be colour coordinated, Villa. It'd be great. Unless, of course, the cape looks rubbish, but no, it doesn't. It looks quite nice. I'm not sure if I prefer it to my black cape. I think, I mean, black just goes with everything. I mean, that's the thing about it, really. That's, that's kind of what makes it work, but... I don't dislike the blue cape. I might have an item of clothing it'll go quite nicely with somewhere. I'll have, I will, I'll have a look later. I'm, I'm going to hold on to that for now. Where is this bowl? I'm gonna keep whacking the old night eye on. I don't like the way it just turns everything blue and kind of ruins all of the ambience, but I, I know that for folks watching at home, um, particularly on mobile devices and stuff, it makes the game very hard to see if we don't have an adequate lighting in these interiors like this. Well, um... So I can have a crack at this. I haven't had any luck with hard chests, have we? Oh, there we go. Got lucky that time. RN Jesus shined down upon me and hello, valuable jewelry. And a strong poison. Not bad at all. Fine folded cloth that I can snip up into bandages as well. Elaborate rune chest, very hard. Average, exquisite jewelry box. I reckon we get the average one open. He says. Oh, there we go. Mace of repelling, turns undead. Tiger fang shield, reflect damage. Ooh. I might give that to Vilia, actually. Um... Don't think I really want the mace, but what's on your mind, friend? Let me check your gear. Would you like this magic shield? I'm very, I'm far too attached to my Knight of the White Stallion one at the moment, really. I, I, so I'm going to use that myself. It's also got very good stats. Um, but would you like this Tiger Fang shield? Yes. Talk later. Oh yeah. Nope, she's still got the tatty old leather one equipped instead. Never mind. Try to smash open this jewelry box. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone watching me. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. This is not going very well, is it? I mean, it's with the attempts are on target because the the, the axe's durability yeah. keeps going down. But uh, our dice rolls are not very good here. Besides, I don't think the bowl's in the jewelry box. If I'm honest, it's probably not where it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Gunda's heirloom, a silver bowl. After much fighting and killing, wrote Jazir sarcastically. Uh, I found the heirloom. Looks worthless to me, but if he's willing to pay it, then I'll get it back to him. This mine was deeper than I thought. I should hurry up and return this to Gunda at Colovian Traders. And, uh, frankly, I'm perfectly happy to leave it up to mystery as to what's up, whatever's in that elaborate ruined chest. I'm sure it's something probably quite nice, but chances of me getting into that thing are next to none. Ah, there you are. I was just about to say we can't go and do this. We can't hand in the bowl today because uh, the, the, the the shop's shut, but Gunder's just popped out. Hello, Gunder, Gunder. Yes? Uh, here is your bowl, sir. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. This heirloom has been in my family for generations. I'm the first to have it stolen. I'll put it in a safer place this time. This 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 city is rampant with 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 burglary, as it turns out. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, all right. Be seeing you. Let's just go and see if we can find our mouths. Hi. Uh, 
Uh, good morning. Good morning to you too, sir. Um, is it really morning already? Good grief. We are in that mine for a while, weren't we? You know what, Amal's probably asleep. Let's go back to the inn. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to be it for today's episode. Jazir makes his way back inside here with Vilia in tow. Uh, he's going to go get a night's sleep, and so is Vilia. Not even the bartender's gone so to bed. So many things to do. So little time. Indeed. Ladies and gents, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next one, and I promise it won't be several months this time. It wasn't several months, but it was like, you know, one or two months since the last episode. I promise it won't be that big a gap this time. Toodaloo.